Oh, I used to do these tricks for my friends, right? And they used to try to try to mess with me. So I'm more owl though. I would I would hand them the deck and I and then they would turn their back and they would be like, hey, like I'm a shuffle, but I'm gonna do a secret shuffle and they didn't want me to look. So literally what they would do is they'd go through and take the deck and take the cards face up and the face down just to mess with me, right? And so they did this behind my back so I couldn't see what they were doing. And I could hear them laughing, right? And they would literally just go through the deck and just do this face up and the face down, just mess up the whole deck. Right? And they were like, don't look, we're, we're doing a secret shuffle and they're trying to mess with me. I'm like, okay, but I don't think it's gonna work. And so they would literally just take this whole deck. And so we have this huge giant mess. Like we have some cards like face to face, some yeah. cards like face to back, right? And then some cards just, just huge giant mess. And then like, I would get the cards back and they were like, all right, magic boy, do your magic now, right? And I'm like, okay. And I would see on my corner of my eye that one of the cards was messed up. So all I would do is just, I would just snap. And then I'd be like, all right guys, trick is done. And all the cards. What the magic what the the f f How did he do that? How the f did he do that? <laughs> oh magic my boy. god, magic boy strikes Tyler, again. you missed magic boy. Tyler, boring. that was one of the best tricks I've ever seen. <laughs> How did he do that? Tyler, he fixed every f***ing card. What's up guys? Back with another quick card magic tutorial for you guys. Today, I'm going to be using my green artifice cards. This is actually one of the first decks that I purchased from illusionist.com. These decks come in different colors. I think there's like green, blue, purple, red, uh, gold. There's all these different colors. I got this because I collect green playing cards. So this is what the box looks like. This is uh, the back of the cards and it comes with two jokers, which is really cool. One of these, this guy's holding a, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's an artifice card face down, and the other joker has a reveal on it. It's the Ace of Hearts, so you can use that, you know, kind of as a gaff. Um, Make a very cool review if you guys, you know, force the Ace of Hearts or whatever. So I'll leave a link for these cards down in the description down below. One of my favorite cards of all time. The handle incredible, very cool back design, and it's basically, you know, one of Illusionist's uh, flagship cards. So, anyways. Back to the tutorial today i'm going to teach you guys a very cool trick that can be done on its own or you can use it as a setup move to get into other tricks and I'll show you guys exactly what i mean this is going to be a tutorial for the slop shuffle all right so here is the slop shuffle move so what you do is you're going to thumb over the cards just like this and collect them in your right hand in a nice tight packet and you're going to turn them over just like this, you thumb over some more, collect in your right hand, flip them over again, and just repeat this sequence, all right? So just gathering the cards and flipping them. And as you're doing this, I always explain to the spectator that I'm now shuffling the cards face up and face down, creating this huge giant mess. And it looks like I legitimately am, but all that's happening is I'm collecting just the face up cards and all face down. So you're not really creating this huge giant mess like it seems to be, but you're just creating a separation of face up to face down cards. All right, so this is a very convincing move because the spectator really believes that you're creating this huge giant mess of face up to face down. They see face up, face down. They see as you you know go through and fan out the cards, but there's this huge giant mess happening. And one thing I wanna point out here is you don't wanna have this huge you know, wild, crazy spread like I'm doing, I'm exaggerating this with my right hand because then the spectator can notice that it's a bunch of face-up cards followed by a bunch of face-down cards, right? So the proper way to do this would be to keep a nice tight spread in your right hand. So collect these as tight as you can and the cleanest you can. Flip this over like this and then continue. Nice clean packet, flip over like this and just go back and forth. Just making sure that you know you guys aren't flashing too much. Just make sure this is nice and clean. That way it's not obvious that the cards aren't actually all being mixed face up into face down. All right. And so once you've done that, you'll see that there's a nice kind of natural break here in the middle uh, where the face up and face down cards kind of meet because they're bowing in opposite directions. If you guys don't have a nice natural break here, what you guys can do is just take your cards give them a couple of riffle shuffles and just make sure you guys are just bending them you know give a little bit of force and just push them 
and bend them. Bring these shuffles. If you guys can spring your cards, you can do that as well. So just spring your cards a couple of times. And just naturally, you know, the cards will have this kind of concave bend to them. So you do that a couple of times. Riffle to the cards like this. Now just create a natural curve in the cards. That way, once you go through and you do your slop shuffle, right? Let's do this real quickly. Act like you're, you know, actually shuffling, shuffling face up into face down. What happens once you get to the end of this, you guys can see that there's a natural break there right in the middle. As an ad convincer, you can just cut somewhere in the middle of the deck that's not at that natural break and just show, you know, the cards are a huge mess. There's some face down, some face up. Right, there's the cards face to face, the cards face to back. And then on this last cut, I'm gonna cut right at the natural break. Right, so I cut once before above it just to show the, some cards that are back to back. And then the second cut, I'm gonna cut right to that natural break. You can see that right there. Grab that and say there are some cards that are back to back. And then I'm gonna grab the pack in my right hand and just flip that in a natural motion. So I've cut it here, show that the cards are a mess. And then now I'm gonna drop these cards right on my hand like this, kind of like a book, and just close it up like that. And now what you've done is all the cards are now fixed, right? So now everything is facing the right way. So once I've done that, I flipped it over like a book, I'm gonna put the cards on the table and say, now look, if I just snap, I can get all the cards to straighten out and fix themselves. And at this point, you can just fan all the cards out and show that all the cards have fixed themselves. All right, so very easy beginner level trick. And another way you can use this to set up your cards for another trick, if you're using a full deck setup that requires the black and the red cards to be separated, you can do this with the slop shuffle as well. And this takes a little bit longer. So before when we were doing the slop shuffle, right, we were just taking the cards from the top and turning them face over and just going over, you know, five or 10 cards every single time. Instead of doing that, right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the deck face up. And then what you wanna do now is do the same slop shuffle, except you're gonna do it with the red and the black cards. So every time you come to a card that's a different color, you're gonna flip. So in the beginning, I have these two red cards. So I'm gonna gather these two red cards together. Once I get to this black card, I'm gonna flip, all right? And now there's only one black card. So I flip and then when, so I have the black card there. I'll flip once I get to the next red card. So now it's red on red again, all right? And then I do all the red cards. Once I get to a black card, I'll flip over again. And essentially you're gonna flip every time you go to a different color. And so now you're gonna gather all the reds together and all the blacks, all right? So you can already see that happening. So now if you fan the cards out, you'll see you have all the reds here that are face up and all the face down cards in my right hand are black. All right, so now we can just keep going, flip every time we have an alternating color. So red, black, red, black, red. And again, you wanna keep your right hand as clean as possible, as tight as possible, so people don't see that they're not actually getting shuffled face up and face down. And at this moment, when this is happening, it's always a good idea to talk. You notice in my performance, I tell a story, I'll talk through this because it just, it is, kind of a long process because you're flipping back and forth so many times throughout the deck. And then now we're here in the same position again. You guys can see that natural break right in the middle of the deck. So you go through what we did before. Again, you can say the cards are now all mixed up, face up and a face down. You can cut the random spot and say, we have some cards that are face to face, some cards that are back to face, and then flip this over again like the book. And now we can put the deck down and say, I can snap and all the cards have fixed themselves. They're now all back face down. And then as an ad kicker, you can flip the cards over and show that not only have the cards all fixed themselves, but they've separated into red and black automatically, just like that. So this is a good way for you guys to you know, set up if you're going to the next phase of a trick where you require the cards to be split up black and red, maybe for out of this world or oil and water, whichever you guys are doing. Um, that's a quick, you know, way to, to 
get that set up in front of your spectators without them knowing is doing this trick beforehand. And then you'll be good to go for your next trick that requires this setup. So you kind of get a bonus here. So you can do this beforehand, get that set up, and you get a bonus trick. So that's a quick way to get into the setup for those other tricks. If you need to, right in front of your spectators, it can be done you know, from a shuffle deck. You could do the slop shuffle trick, separating all the red and black, and then move on to your other trick that requires this setup. So there you guys have it. Super easy trick for beginners. You don't have to do the whole black and red separation. If you don't want to, you can do it just um, you know, with the regular cards, just going over five or 10 cards at a piece. That way it's not going as slow as the red and black separation, but you guys get the idea. It's super simple and clean. It looks convincing. You know, it looks like all the cards generally are shuffled face up and a face down. And then just like that, all it takes is a snap and all the cards have fixed themselves. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy my videos. Thanks. See you guys on the next video.